So after a second place finish last time out, the Virgin team were looking for a few ideas to see what we can do to try and beat Red Bull. Oh, no, no, we're not trying to copy or anything. What's up guys, how you doing? It is Joe here once again for A Eternal UK and welcome to round number two of the F1 2010 career mode season two and once again we're back in our Virgin uh, and driving as Max Chilton but today we are in Australia and uh, we're jumping actually straight into Q1 uh, so maybe we'll be able to get another Q3 spot this time, who knows. Uh, miracles have happened before they can happen again and as we come across the line for our first uh, timed run in Q1 we go up to fifth position and we've actually got seventh place so we've got some legitimate pace uh, in fact this weekend once again uh, it's a track that I actually quite enjoy uh, just because it's corner cutting heaven uh, you've probably just seen that thing on the screen now uh, which I got sent by Ryan Foley. Uh, you may know him on Twitter. Uh, but there we go. We've just got a corner cut. And uh, yeah, that just about backs my point up. I didn't even know it was edited like that, to be honest. Uh, I've been caught out. I've been mugged. Uh, but as we come now across the line for um, what's probably going to have to be our only timed run, because we're running out of fuel, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, we're running low on fuel. But as we come to the end of our only timed lap in Q2, Two. Uh, I was thinking what session we were in then. Obviously, you're not used to Virgins being in Q2. Uh, but there we go. We are in P7. And with 20 seconds left in the session, you'd expect we got through. And we did. And there is a 100% chance of rain in Q3. And it's actually dry at the moment, which is quite mind-boggling. But obviously, that means that we're going to have to go out straight away, which we do. It's a wet track or it's a damp track. So I, I, well, we go on board, if I can get my words out, just at the start of the lap. And as we come through the first couple of turns, no corner cuts yet. And now as we're coming down to turns three and four, I believe. Uh, once again, the track is, is, is a little bit wet. But as you can see, there's no rain on the actual screen itself. Uh, a couple of cars have put times in 131s. And although we've actually we've been pretty much 7th or 8th fastest all weekend, this could be our chance to actually get higher up the field. Uh, because the AI are very, very cautious in these sort of conditions. So we are absolutely hammering the throttle. And as we now come through turns 8 and 9, I believe it is. Or maybe turn 9 and 10, I'm really not sure. Uh, but now as we come towards this tricky... Actually, no, that is turn 8 and 9. And that, that little kink is turn 10. I think this is 11 and 12. But anyway, this is where we gain a lot of time on the AI. Although we've run wide of track extending rather than corner cutting. Uh, they're, they all count, you know, they'll, they'll do, whatever. Um, but now as we come towards the final section of track, can we hook up this lap? We're looking very, very good through the first two sectors. And as we come through the final few corners, we've got some rain dripping on our visor. Um, or not the visor, but the screen. Uh, same thing, pretty much. But yeah, this final sector does seem a lot wetter. And the track is really wetting up, <laughs> if that's some sort of word. But as we come across the line now, we do a 1 minute 30.2. And we take pole by an emphatic 1.4 seconds. Absolutely insane session. And, well, let's see now what we can do for the race. Well then, this is it. It is race time, and now we are pointing towards Webb. We're going to block him off into turn one. It's five lights, and away we go from pole position. It is on the full wet tyres this time. We cannot get a dry race in Australia on F1 2010, but as we plough towards turn one, it looks as if we've maintained position. Amazing that we managed to actually get that pole position. We're streaking away from the field already. Alonso's up to P2, and the snail, well, this is the conditions that the snail likes. He can drip along in these conditions. He can literally be a snail as we run wide. Um, it's not, it, well, that wasn't meant to be a track extender. It was just the fact that we ran wide because our brakes are made of cardboard boxes, pretty much. Uh, whatever they can conjure up as, oh my god, we've got a, so much oversteer there. And we're still leading the race, even though we've had that scare. But now as we come through the end of the first sector, we've got a lead of under three tenths of a second. So we've really got to be careful of that threat from behind. But as you can see, the AI have just got no response to me. 
uh, really. You know, when we're actually hooking it up, um, we've, they've got no response. But this track is absolutely soaking wet. On 2010, the wet weather is a lot more punishing uh, than at least 2011, 12, and 13. I know on 2014, it's really bad on the wheel. Uh, but on 2010, the wet weather is absolutely horrific because we run wide once again. But you can see how much of a lead we've got. And now as we come through towards the final section of track, where we break, but oh my god, we've locked up our brakes, and now we're going to have to flick spin it. That is an absolute nightmare, because we had such a good lead, and now we've got to look. It's almost like coming to a T-junction on the road. We've got to look for a position back on the track, and we indicate left, and well, we've been mugged by absolutely everyone. We're down to 24th place. Uh, we're sort of in our rightful position, I guess you could say. But, oh my word, we had so much pace all weekend. It's almost as if we've blown it, but who knows, you know. Uh, we've got so much pace. We've already passed our teammate, um, Lucas Degrassi. And, uh, yeah, he's been going well in Formula E, actually. I forgot about that. Uh, but, and, and also, Jano Trulli, another, another Formula E driver. Uh, they might as well be driving electric cars because they are absolutely nothing compared to snail power. Uh, I don't know what snails are powered by, uh, I guess energy like any other animal, uh, but anyway, we're cutting on to lap 2, less of the biology lesson, more of overtaking, that's what you guys have come for. Uh, if you do want some more biology videos, then do send your um, request to overtakesoftheweek at hotmail.com, uh, but anyway, we've passed Karun Chandok for P20. And we are now well on our way to um, getting up the field. We've gone green. I don't know by how much, but it's only lap two. We're mugging cars left, right, and centre. I can't even keep count of who it is. I think that one was Hecky Kovalainen. And now we've got Rubens Barrichello and Nico Hulkenberg maybe going for the double move. And we've done it. Uh, the two Williams obviously got fond memories of that car, but I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, because we've, we've mugged them. That's all that matters. Uh, I love my Virgin. Oh my god, I, I, I'm just I'm going to say something that's like completely wrong uh, sooner rather than later. But anyway, we're going to try and go around the Toro Rossos now. Alga has got much better traction, but uh, as we cut later on, um, well, just after that pit straight, and now we're going down the back straight, we're going to go around the outside of Hami Alga for P60. Next up is his teammate Sebastian Buemi, and uh, we're just going down the inside. We don't even care. Look, you know, kudos to him, he gave us the room. Uh, and we have given him absolutely no respect back because we've just mugged him down the inside. Another Formula E driver, Sebastian Buemi. Oh my god, we've gone down the inside of Pedro De La Rosa. He's about 50 odd now, uh, so I don't think he'll be racing in Formula E. But uh, anyway, we get past Viantonio Liozzi this time. Uh, I believe that's the, four, the first of the Force Indias, even, that we've overtaken. And next up, we've got the two Renaults, as we've got so much spray in our face. Uh, oh my god. And uh, we'll, we're trying to go down the inside of Kibitza, but we've actually, that's turned to the outside. Is Kobayashi's mugged Petrov, and it's going to be a very, very bad couple of corners for Renault. And it's going to be even worse now. Did not touch, oh, I sort of did touch him, but he, he dived, he dived. Uh, well, I don't know what Petrov was doing. It was, it was almost like in football where you give someone a little touch and they go flying around. That's what he did with his car. But uh, nonetheless, we're into a points paying position now with that beautiful move on Hami Algashwari. Uh, not Hami Algaswari, Kamui Kobayashi, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway, we've got past Adrian Suttle in the meantime, up to P9. This is action-packed, it really is, as we're going down, down oh my word, double overtake nearly. Uh, we've got Schumacher, maybe Hamilton up next. Uh, we're, we've already got four points on the board, maybe we can get Lewis Hamilton. The field seems very, very bunched together as he gets a tank slapper on the exit. We've overtaken Hamilton and maybe the other McLaren of Button. Yes, we do as we absolutely belt uh, Felipe Massa's rear suspension. But uh, seeing as it's a co-masters game, no damage has been done. So that's all okay. We didn't even get a warning. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as we come into the turn 8 and 9 chicane, we're gaining once again on Massa. And as we know, this section of track is the bit that we gain so much on the AI. Although in the straights, our lawnmower engine is absolutely nothing compared to Massa. Uh, although this chicane, wow, well, we're just going to go around the outside using that Red Bull aerodynamics that we uh, took inspiration from, or more like stolen. Uh, for, well, we've actually just gone and tried, tried to, tried to, there, uh, there, tried to mug them. Uh, but, uh, well, once again, I've made another overtake while I'm blabbering on. It was on Nico Rosberg, but we're going to have to give him the, the, the position back due to our horrible track extending. Uh, but we're coming back at him once again on lap 6. I can't really speak today, which is a shame. Uh, but we've gone round the outside of the 2014 
uh, drivers championship runner-up and pull trophy winner uh, Nico Rosberg yes those are his accolades now um, but uh, we're behind Mark Webber off the uh, stolen I mean inspiration oh my word uh, well that red ball has got no aerodynamics because we've just gone and stolen them all uh, from uh, from our uh, well luxurious facilities back in the UK uh, that we uh, sort of maybe took inspiration from Red Bull. Uh, but uh, we've got the other Red Bull of Sebastian Vettel, but we're going down the inside of him. I'm making no sense again, Arma, when I'm talking, when I'm not even talking about racing. I just makes no sense. But now it's on the, to the final lap of the race. We're up into P2 after overtaking Vettel. And now Fernando Alonso, we're reeling him in. It was a real, you know, this second half of the race. I know there hasn't been a lot of action in the second half of the race. Uh, but nonetheless, we were catching and catching Alonso. And I just thought it was going to be one lap too many. As you can see, he's just over a second ahead of us. And I think it's a little bit too much to ask, seeing as we're only in a virgin. Um, we, um, but um, anyway, we've put in an absolutely blistering first sector. We're 1.3 behind Alonso. And now we're going to hopefully close up on him a little bit as you can see it's sort of brightening up as well so this track is really coming to us now we're feeling at one with the car and we just you know we've got the confidence to be able to put that accelerator down and and know that that back end's not going to step out which is actually quite a surprise in this car but uh, like and well like we know this is the section of the track where we gain Alonso's got a tank slapper on and he's gone to the defensive line on the inside but that turns to the outside now as he just decides to go out there. We're going to maybe get on the inside. No, he takes the apex. We maybe give him a little tap. But uh, he's got ahead of us nonetheless. We've got a couple of corners remaining. We've gained so much on him. Maybe the dive bomb's coming. Yes, it is. Are we going to get to the apex first? Oh, my word. We've only gone and done it. With two corners left, we've taken the lead. And now, as we come round the final corner, we're already celebrating because we've won our first race of the championship. What's our race? And that is absolutely unbelievable. First to last to first. You don't see those every day, do you? Oh my god, I don't think I've ever heard an engineer go so crazy over the radio. But what a win that was. Absolutely insane stuff from ourselves. I wish our engineer could be like that on F1 2014. They're an absolutely crazy Geordie. You don't see that every day, do you? Uh, but like I say, we took the victory. And um, the field, you pretty much saw the whole field. Not much changed after I overtook them. Uh, no real surprises. Uh, Jensen Button all the way down there in ninth, as you can see. And our teammate bringing up the rear. Uh, Virgin taking the two most important positions, first and last, and that's all that counts. Uh, but what a race. I really, really enjoyed that one, actually. As you could probably tell. Uh, I made an absolute cock up on the first lap, but look at that. Max Chilton leads the world championship. You do not hear that every day either. If that doesn't deserve a like, I have no idea what does. Uh, if we could once again hit, well, I, I don't know what I asked for last time. Was it 50 likes? I tell you what, let's go for 60 likes this time. Um, well, let, yeah, let's let's try for 60 likes today. I hope you really, really enjoyed the video, and I hope you really, really enjoyed the series. You know, it's something really different. Uh, obviously, going back to F1 2010 for season two, and just sort of mixing it with one of my favourite series, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I've already recorded five episodes. So I might try and get another one for you this week, but uh, you know, this series is pretty much going to be coming once a week to you. I uh, hope you're enjoying it anyway, and like I say, uh, I'm really, really enjoying it myself. We're in doing the interviews at the moment, and that just about concludes the weekend, and therefore concludes the video. I believe we have got Malaysia next time out, so we'll have another great, great race for you next time. But uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave your support if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.